Thanks, Jackie. I'm looking forward to this later, me gonks. Come on, what you got? That's an easy question, Papa Gong. What it was, uh, back in my school days, uh, one of my friends noticed that my ears were all a bit squashed and uh, they said, oh, they look like pixie ears. So I was looking for a name for my YouTube channel and I thought, what can I have that's a little bit different? And I thought, my old uh, nickname from school. So hence, that's what it's called, Pixie's Channel. So now you know. Ah, uh, Gavin. Interesting question, young man. Well, uh, one of his friends, oh, well, went to see one of his friends and uh, never seen a drone, never heard of a drone, but he had a drone. <laughs> so um, one day he says, when we went to go and see him, he says, do you want to have a go with my drone? And I went, yeah, why not? And that was it. Since then, I've been hooked. Love drones, absolutely love them. So yeah, that's how I got onto uh, flying drones or got interested in drones. Very good question that Kevin. Well what it was, um, we used to go out every Sunday, uh, Sunday morning, early doors for the sunrise. Um, yeah, once, basically once a week because the other two guys, so the, who was part of the Yorkshire Drone Seekers, well, they were um, working during the week. Well, I was working at the time as well. So we were all working during the week and that was the only day we could get because I liked to watch football on a Saturday when the football was happening. So basically, yeah, early doors for the sunrise on a Sunday morning, that's when we went out. But uh, nowadays it's just we can't because of the lockdown, so we're stuck indoors and before the lockdown started, I used to start going out during the week because I left my job to look after Mrs. Pixie. So yeah, I, I was going out during the week on my own and then meeting up with the Yorkshire Drone Seekers on a Sunday morning. Well, Gordon, that is an easy answer to that one. I had the channel first, little old me. Um, Jeanette was second, uh, two reasons why she got a YouTube channel is basically one, her mother uh, passed away and she was feeling a bit down and she thought I would kind of get around and keep myself busy and keep my mind busy and everything and basically what it was, I was doing a live stream one day and Jeanette walked past the camera and somebody said, oh, who's that? I said, oh, it's my wife. She says, got a YouTube channel? She says, no. Well, she better go and get one. So basically that's what she did. So then she started doing a baking video. Well, she started doing daily chat videos and then went into baking videos and then also went into oh, the, 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 the live streams as well. So yes, yeah, she's really enjoying it. She loves it. Um, my channel, uh, I think I started, that was about two or three years ago for Jeanette. My channel, I think I started around, oh, a long time ago, I forgot to look. <laughs> I think it was 2011, I think. Because we just got Benny, the cat, and that was my first channel, or first video I put on my channel, just... Benny sat in the window just and he hears me going, Benny! Not about a five second click. So yeah, I think that's how I got started on YouTube. Good question. Well then, Grandpa, that's a good question as well. What are my favourite videos that I have produced? I've got two, and they're both drone videos. My favourite, favourite one is of Clipstone Colliery. Absolutely love that one. That was done with the Mavic Pro. Well, they're both done by the Mavic Pro, actually. And also, when I went out to Surprise View with the Yorkshire Drone Seekers. And, uh, yeah, I enjoyed that one a lot. That was a good one. Really enjoyed that one. So, yeah, those are my two favourite videos. Well then Granny, that is a very interesting question. No, I haven't always lived in Sheffield. 
Uh, when I met Jeanette, um, after a very short space of time, we or I moved <laughs> into Jeanette's and we were living in a little place called Sutton in Ashfield, which is a little village outside uh, Mansfield. And then we moved to, where is it, Great Yarmouth, if I can remember. <laughs> We had several properties in Great Yarmouth, all rented. Uh, well, let me just look at, look at my little list that I've written down. First place we moved to was Martham. That proved to be a little bit expensive. Uh, it was um, a lovely house, front and back gardens, and two or three bedroom house. Absolutely beautiful place, but the area was a bit. Mm, and the house was nice, but the area, area <laughs> a bit, mm, bit dodgy, a bit. Mm. So then we moved to Belton, so I'm looking down a big piece of paper. <laughs> then we moved to a house called, uh, 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 to a place called Belton. That was a nice area, but the people were a bit... So, um, oh, I've missed out Borough Castle before that. We went to the one, uh, three-bedroom flat in Borough Castle in Great Yarmouth. But you had to get up some stairs to the flat. And that was no good. Then we moved to Belton. Uh, like I said, the area was alright, but the piece was a little bit rough. So we moved out of there and we moved into Caister. Um, lovely little seaside village. The sea, uh, the sea front was literally about five minutes walk away from our house. I absolutely loved it. But we were right bang opposite at a holiday park, a caravan place. Uh, which wasn't great because sometimes in the summer, play the music blast on the stereos and stuff like that but apart from that yeah I absolutely loved it down there the reason why we came back to Sheffield was uh, I think we, uh, a stepdad with poorly and stuff like that so yeah we all moved back in, to Mansfield first back into Sutton in Ashfield uh, not Sutton in Ashfield <laughs> we moved back to Huthwaite and then after a while uh, a mum passed away and everything and then we went to come to Sheffield and we've been here ever since love it basically two minutes from Sheffield city centre in car and ten minutes walking great stuff my mama that's a very very good question yes the lockdown how we're coping oh we're all right for the first week or two no, it's just boring. You can't get out. Or I can't get out anyway. Callum can't go to college. So unfortunately, Mrs. P is stuck with both of us. Until we go on his daily walk. Which is not good. We just either around the estate or up the park. It's not good at all. So yeah, well, she's getting a bit fed up with us at the moment. <laughs> so until this lockdown is uh, in place, I'm afraid she's stuck with us. So uh, what can you do? Know? that's a very easy question to answer and of course it's a lemon drizzle cake but we've got the white chocolate cookies that's coming a very 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 close second so yes lemon drizzle cake <laughs> Well, Ruby, yes, of course we'd like to come and visit you. Yeah, that'd be absolutely awesome. I'd spend a week or two in Spain, should it be old uh, six pack, pack up? Just a bit relaxed at the moment. But uh, yeah, me, me, Mrs. P and Karen would love to come and uh, build some sandcastles on the beach with you. That'd be awesome. Right, thank you very much Jackie and the Gonks as well, that, we, that was uh, very very tense and some very hard questions but we got there in the end. Thank you very much guys and I really enjoyed myself and I shall see you in the next one. Bye!